Current Time and Radio Liberty investigated the audio recording of a conversation, presumably by a Russian billionaire Roman Trotsenko. His interlocutor, as journalists assume, is another Russian businessman Nikolai Matyushevsky. The conversation took place during Trotsenko's vacation in Bali. The 40-minute conversation began with plans to escape abroad forever, and then the interlocutors moved on talk about Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the situation inside the country. Unfortunately, Russia, which we love so sincerely, ended up in the clutches of some idiots, which profess some strange compositions of the 19th century. This will not end well, it will end in hell. People will kill each other on the streets of Moscow. It's just a matter of time before it happens. Trotsenko is one of the businessmen relatively close to Vladimir Putin. Matyushevsky is also an entrepreneur and a longtime friend of Trotsenko. According to journalists, they received a recording of their conversation leaked to the network by email. Authenticity is not in doubt, in general and attempts to refute were rather sluggish. But not once did they express any feeling of indignation at the war itself, those crimes committed daily by the war criminals in Ukraine. They are worried about the problems created for their business, the loss of money, the loss of ties with the West. Quite expectedly, Matyushevsky said that this conversation did not take place. He noted that allegedly the last time he spoke with Trotsenko was in 2022. Also, at first he openly criticized the authorities and later retracted his words. And Russian producer Yosef Prigozhin, whose telephone conversation with billionaire Farhat Akhmetov also appeared on the network earlier. I am so disappointed. This public, I am shocked. It is no longer possible to justify oneself before society. Look at the Chinese policy, how brilliant it is. In the same conversation, Akhmetov argued that Putin was never a real leader, but rather a media hero. Experts admit that the leaked conversations may also be a special operation of the disgruntled political and military elites of Russia. Those who are trying to change the situation in Russia. But it will be extremely difficult to do this because indeed the machine built there is quite powerful. It is repressive and power and security and judicial, corrupt, clearly satisfying those who are now in power. Oligarchs and businessmen also mention in their conversations that 2023 is the last chance to escape from Russia. That is, there is no question of overthrowing the dictatorial regime. But who really should be afraid of Putin and his entourage? These are militants from private military companies, of which there are already dozens in Russia. They create these PMCs for the redistribution of property, because when the defeat becomes already clear, this will cause inevitable political changes in the bunker, the departure of Putin and his group, and in Russia this means the zeroing of huge property. According to analysts, Russia is heading for the abyss on all counts. As the war enters its second year and Western sanctions tighten, Russia's government revenues are shrinking and its economy is slipping into a long-term regression, the Wall Street Journal reports. Reported by Sakhikulas, Viktoria Smirnova, UATV News.